Hello, my name is Jackie Kirkup. Welcome to Spotlight on Surus. Today is Thursday, May 23rd, 2024. Today I have with me Dr. C. Blake Dembo. Hello, Dr. Dembo. Welcome to the show. Hi, Jackie. Glad to be here. <laughs> I was just joking with Dr. Dembo. Sometimes I find it hard to put that doctor in there and just call him Blake. But we are in a professional setting tonight, and so it'll be Dr. Dembo. That's fine. So, Dr. Dembo, um, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your um, what you do here in Surus? Uh, well, I'm uh, I have the business Surus River Chiropractic here in in town, and so I'm the the chiropractor here. Excellent. How long have you been here in Surus? Um, well, we opened the office in 2006, so that would be about 17 years now, I guess, going into 18. Wow, that is super amazing. I, can't, I can hardly believe it. Same business hours since the time we started till now. Nothing's ever wow. changed. It's always wow. the same. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> um, and you were born and raised here in Surus and, and came back to practice in your own home communities, community. Yep. So I yep. completely commend you for, oh. for coming <laughs> to making a home here. Well, we sure have been welcomed, that's for sure. Awesome. Yeah. So I know it's taken you a lot of years to uh, get some schooling to become a chiropractor. So a can you tell us a little <laughs> bit about that? Um, sure, yeah, like a, a chiropractor will go, um, just like your regular family physician or GP, they go to school for eight years, you do an undergraduate degree, and then four years of, uh, specifically of chiropractic uh, college. Wow, yeah. wow. Um, your undergraduate degree, um, what is, what do you have, what is that in? For myself, it was actually in uh, zoology. Um, we did a lot of, um, there's a lot of human components there with that. Um, but yeah, I put you on the spot. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's okay. No, that's uh, that, that's what my so I yeah I did a major in zoology, minor in chemistry, and another minor in psychology. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So does that give you a science degree in the end? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Good base to get going on chiropractic. Got me started. School. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, so what exactly is a doctor of chiropractic? Well, um, that would be someone who of course has completed chiropractic college. So there's about, four, um, I think there's a little over 4,500 hours of specific training in chiropractic college. And then you have to pass your provincial and federal competency exams. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, then you're a chiropractor and you're kind of considered a neuromusculoskeletal specialist. So okay. that would be a doctor who um, is concerned mostly with problems related to nerves, uh, muscles, bones, and joints. Okay, very interesting. So what sort of problems would you maybe see at your office that people would come, come in with an oh. ailment or a concern? Well, we, we have all sorts of uh, stuff that uh, comes through the office there. You know, like chiropractors, I think in general, are kind of considered to be like the low back, neck mm. uh, sort of related doctors. Yeah. Um, but we're, we're trained in like every joint in the, in the body from the foot to the head. And so we see, um, you know, um, things like plantar fasciitis, um, but, but also ankle sprains, um, knee problems, sciatica, pelvic problems, lower back problems, uh, <laughs> rotator cuff problems, tendonitis, um, golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, carpal tunnel. Oh my goodness. Jaw problems, headaches, neck problems, um, dizziness sometimes too. Okay. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> that's a lot you of never, things. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> that's right. Um, so can do chiropractors um, specialize in certain certain areas if they so choose, or is it just sort of a general yeah. see everyone kind of a situation? Well, it, it, yeah, it, it depends. There are chiropractors that um, do specialize. Uh, you can even take like more training after chiropractic college in, in certain things. So in Canada, there's certain specialty colleges like radiology, so they'll do another three years just in uh, like x-rays, MRI, ultrasound, like special imaging things. Okay. There's wow. uh, sports chiropractors, there's uh, clinical science chiropractors, there's some chiropractors that deal only with uh, pregnant, uh, pregnant women and, and babies. There's other ones that specialize in geriatrics. Um, and then there's other, um, 
other ones, do they say like sports medicine too? That um, they, yeah, they you have? did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah. no, that's good. That's yeah. quite a variety of, yeah. you know, specific paths that, that chiropractors can also choose to, yeah. to specialize in. So, yeah. so at your uh, clinic, sort of what sort of patients um, do you, do you see? Oh, well, <laughs> we're very fortunate to, to, or I'm very fortunate, I guess, to, to live where we do because because I see all of those problems that I kind of mentioned before, and, and we see patients uh, of all different kinds. So I've had babies brought into the office that are hours old, just wow. uh, right after they've been delivered and they're on their way home. I've had patients well into their 90s uh, as well. Um, I have have had several patients who have played in the uh, NHL. I've had patients who are college athletes, um, high school athletes, weekend warrior patients. Um, I have patients who sit at desks and, mm. and a truck all day. And then I have other patients who have like very physical jobs uh, doing like heavy construction or tradespeople or, you know, our wonderful nurses, of course, there mm-hmm. too. Um, yeah, we, we have all sorts of uh, patients that come in. You never yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, you never know, yeah. right? And I guess that's also an exciting part of your job sometimes that you, it, it you never know, It's right? never dull there. I, I love going <laughs> to the office. I always tell my kids, I never go to work. I just go to the office to see my patients. And, yeah. you know, probably because of all this variety of patients and problems that come in, I, I keep trying to take more courses in order to better myself and be able to help the next person that comes in with something. Right. Yeah, yeah that's excellent. Um, so what, what if you were a new patient um, and you were kind of come to your office for your very first chiropractic right. visit, what would that look like? Uh, well, at, at our office, what we do is um, we send out a patient a, a questionnaire to fill out before they come in. It's, it's pretty extensive to kind of give a some background of like what their problem is for, you know, why they're coming to see me. So mm-hmm. I can kind of get an idea when they come. Uh, what other questions that I'm going to ask them to kind of tailor the, the history around their, their specific complaint. Then after we uh, get through that, uh, then we go in and we start doing an exam. Um, usually the exam will consist of, th- not always, it depends on what the patient has, of course, but right. uh, you know things like uh, I might have them, we'll check their gait, so like how are they walking, just ch- generally how, what their mobility is like. Then we'll do things like... Um, uh, look at their posture. Chiropractors love posture, so we <laughs> got to have a look at that. Uh, we'll do their reflexes, uh, muscle strength. Uh, we'll go through um, looking at like some biometric things, like what's their blood oxygen, their their heart rate, their blood pressure, mm-hmm. uh, things of that sort, and you know, um, and then probably transition to doing like some specific neurological or orthopedic test, depending on what the patient is right. presenting with. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's a very extensive assessment. Yeah. I'm usually with the patient for about an hour the first time that they right. come in. Right. Yeah. Wow. Can you order, um, you know, more tests if the patient might need oh, something? Yeah. Like... yeah. That's, that's a good question. Cause, um, actually after the, after I'm done with the, the patient, then um, sometimes we might need more things to figure out what's actually going on there with them. So then we usually coordinate that through their family physician. Okay. Um, so uh, if they say like need x-rays or blood work or nerve conduction study, I don't know what they might need there, right. but whatever it is, then uh, then it's always good to have somebody else in the loop. There, Absolutely. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly right. Yeah. Good. Um, so what is the sort of care that uh, do you provide um, to a patient? Oh, well, that's a, that's not an easy question to answer because <laughs> it depends on what the patient yeah, has going on there. Yeah, there's a lot of depends, them. right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, so, can't be specific, but just a generalized. Yeah. Well, so um, I would say like some, like sometimes if the patient ends up in my office and after we go through the whole history, the exam and um, to figure out what's going on with them, well, sometimes they're in the wrong office. So sometimes it's just a case of that I, got, I need to refer them. So, right. or maybe they just need some advice. There's not actually anything that I can specifically do there for them. So they right. just have to refer them. Yep. Um, sometimes we do a diet and nutrition advice there. Um, we go through, um, sometimes I have a number of different soft tissue therapies that I'll do with them. Um, we do exercises, of course, uh, chiropractic adjusting there for mm-hmm. them. Use a traction table. I, I do acupuncture. Uh, we might uh, use athletic taping on them. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's a wide variety of yeah. things. It's just not like, you know, you're going to just come in and snap, crackle, and pop a person. You There's so many other aspects um, involved in just a, a treatment yeah. at the chiropractor. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Yeah. 
Well, this has uh, been great to have you. Um, cool. As you know, that um, um, the Access Channel is putting on some wellness a wellness theory series just to um, get people uh, familiar with some services that are available um, in the local community. So it was a pleasure to have you here, oh, Dr. Dembo. I'm so glad that I could come. Yeah. It was awesome. Great. <laughs> Thank you. This has been Spotlight on Service.